Yeah, same here. Is everyone all right? I I think so, Professor. <laughs> Somebody apprehend that man at once! You're coming with me, boy. And I don't want any trouble. Inspector. A moment, please. Just what do you think you're doing? This man poses an imminent threat to our national security. I cannot deny the damage that Clive has done to our city. But we can't forget that he's also a victim of a political agenda for progress. No matter the cost. You've got some nerve, man. Professor, I... Answer me one question, Clive. You knew full well I'd stand in the way of your plot. So why did you send for me? Dimitri was sure he needed you for his project. But I knew full well of the threat you posed to my plan. Though I suppose I still led you all the way to the heart of my base, didn't I? At first, I was just toying with you. But at some point, I realized I was enjoying our time together. Maybe part of me wanted somebody to save me from my all-consuming madness. As you did, all those years ago. Together, boy! There's nothing to be done. Jump back in there and you'll die too! No! No! <laughs> no, that's uh, Clyde when he was a child from 10 years ago. So basically what happened is that um, uh, ba uh, basically the explosion that um, uh, Professor Lane lost Claire, uh, Clive also lost his parents in the um, apartment. And that's why he wanted to do the whole revenge thing to begin with, basically to avenge his parents that were basically dead. That was you. Deep down inside, I hoped you might be able to talk me down from the edge of insanity again. This is the second time you've saved my life now. Thank you. Clive. Don't worry about me. I intend to atone for my crimes. I look forward to the day we meet again. Until then, I hope life treats you well, Professor. And you too, Clive. Barton, take him back to headquarters. Yes, sir! You did that twice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Criminals like him make me think the whole world has gone mad. Despicable justice. Oh, yeah. He, he, is. he is a true culprit. Yeah, again, once you also see the uh, parts that uh, we've also did, you'll you'll uh, you'll come to realize that yeah, he uh, he uh, he's he's much more than a jerk in, in many ways than one. Yes, people can often be so blinded by their own motivations that they lose sight of the damage they do. But criminals aren't the only blind ones. Just what are you implying, Inspector? Nothing at all. Just stating the facts, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have work to do. The whole story. So, future Luke is really a boy named Clive who lost his parents in the time machine explosion ten years ago. He's been planning revenge on those responsible ever since. He called upon Layden in the hopes the professor could save him from his own madness. He somewhat succeeded. I don't know what to say when I think of all the suffering I caused in the name of research. It was terrible. But I see you must have loved Claire very much to do what you did. The more I reflect on it, the more unsure I am as to whether it was love or pride that compelled me. For ten long years I chased after what so many called impossible. But I've come to my senses now. Hmm. But you know, Herschel, there is one detail that you got wrong. What are you referring to? Hmm? I don't think I have much longer here, Herschel. I don't know what you mean. You've taken awfully good care of that hat I gave you. What? 
did you say? Oi, there you are, Leighton. I did a background check on Claire's family like you asked. There's no record of Claire having a younger sister. Then... Yes, it was quite a shock when I first worked it out. But you... you can't really mean... It's me, Herschel. It's Claire. Well, it defies logic. It seems the experiment ten years ago wasn't a complete failure. Somehow Claire was shot ten years into the future. To our present? Yes. The time machine worked. If only for that single moment before it exploded. That's... that's not possible. Unfortunately, however, there were more complications. Shortly after appearing in the present, Claire's body showed signs of molecular instability. It was trying to return to its own time. I attribute that phenomenon to the incomplete nature of the time machine. She didn't have long here. I worked on the machine in the hopes of finding a way to stabilize her existence in the present. But it seems inevitable that she'll return to her own time. To the moment of the blast. I beg Dimitri to stop his work. Tampering further with time can only result in more anomalies. There's no telling what chaos we'd release upon the world if we tried to save the dead from their fate. The flow of time must remain linear. We all know the consequences of changing its course. But Dimitri wouldn't listen to me. That's when I knew the only way to stop him was through you, Herschel. What Dimitri, Bill, and I did ten years ago broke the laws of nature. And now we must pay. This is all so... incomprehensible. It's time to end this already, Dimitri. Yes, it does seem that way. My research has threatened our very existence, and it could do so again. Tonight, I will close the book on the time machine forever. Celeste turns out to be Claire, shot into the present by the time machine explosion from ten years ago. Unwilling to warp, unwilling to warp the progression any further, she bids farewell to Leighton and travels back to her own time, back to the moment of the explosion. So yep, she's gonna die. Again. For good this time. I suppose this is it, Herschel. I have to go back to my own time. Back to that day when we parted. No, Claire. I'm sorry, I can't stay. Claire, wait! We had so many plans for the future. Do you remember, Herschel? I'll, I'll miss you. And our unwound future. <sighs> you can't go! <gasps> I don't want to say goodbye again. I can't. I won't! I know you. And I know you'll stay strong. After all, that's what a gentleman does. I must go now, Herschel. Thank you for everything. Goodbye.
<laughs> yeah. The one time he ever cried. One, yeah, this is it. And I think this is, yeah, this is actually why a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, man, when they first played this game, some of them also broke down into tears, because this is one of the rare times where you see Layton acting, you know, different than how he usually acts. And I will admit, you know, uh, even even to this day, I think they handled the scene so very well. It's like, you know, it's no wonder. like very... probably the most budget out of the hall. <laughs> you, you know, you know what, uh, you know what, it's true. It, uh, it is very true. It, it definitely does feel like, you know, uh, out of the course that, like, you know, these games, uh, out of the course of these uh, three games and everything, the budget has been getting more and more um, expensive. It definitely has been showing, you know, uh, throughout the series of the game. But yep. That was Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. And uh, much like Diabolical Box, there is going to be a cutscene at the end of the credits. Um, Space Train says so he wants to wait until the credits so he can give his final thoughts. Uh, but if ESM wants to give his final thoughts in the game right now, he can, so... Um, okay. Well, uh, at the very least, what do you think of the game? Very good. Very good. Uh, out, of the, uh, uh, out of the three lane games that we've seen so far, which one would you say is the best one? You said like the, you said uh, well, you said like that about uh, about that about about only more for the train. Yeah, for the train. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, we'll, all right. Well, since uh, Space Train wants to um, go last, I'll go ahead and at least you know give my thoughts on the game right now for uh, right now. So, Unwound Future. Um, all right. So when I first uh, played this game, uh, much like uh, Space Train and such. Um, I was getting uh, very into the uh, story and such. Um, I was getting, uh, I was getting into at least a little bit on like you know, uh, wanting to know a little bit more about you know future London and everything. Um, I will say the story here is definitely like I said, much better paced than what it was in uh, Diabolical Box. It gave, uh, it gave the right balance of being like you know mystery and such, as well as like you know, uh, as well as you still trying to figure out what the mystery is without trying to you know. Uh, without trying to flat out say it until, you know, you got to the end and such. Uh, much like with Curious Village and Di uh, Diabolical Box, um, it definitely kept your interest in, like, you know, uh, where's this mystery going and such, uh, who are some of these people that, you know, uh, we met during the game, such as, like, Clive, uh, Celeste, or act uh, actually Claire, Dimitri, and all that sort of stuff. Um, it, de uh, it definitely kept the, uh, right, uh, the story was definitely a lot more engaging, at least, you know, uh, to me and such. Uh, when we got halfway into, like, you know, Chinatown as well as, like, you know, seeing some of the pieces come together, I really wanted to see, you know, more and such. Now, like I said, when we got to the ending, the ending is probably one of my, uh, one of the best professional late endings I've seen from the series so far. And like I said, it's coming from someone that hasn't played the prequel trilogies yet, so, uh, so who knows, there might be something in the prequel trilogy that might top this game, but, uh, but overall, at least in terms of the story and everything, I liked it a lot more than, uh, Diabolical Box and such. It was definitely well paced and such. Uh, characters were, uh, were actually very memorable too, as well. Um, I do like Clive. Uh, Clive is a very good, you know, uh, character and villain uh, for this uh, series and such. Uh, he, de uh, he definitely has like you know a good, strong, you know, motivation as to why you know uh, he uh, he's doing what he was you know trying to do and such. Uh, uh, like I said, you know, uh, actually this is the first time where like you know we see a villain where you know we kind of don't know he's a villain just yet until like the end. So we get like you know a little bit of a uh, a little bit of some of that, uh, some of his character before we actually, you know, piece together on, like, you know, who he actually is. And so that's actually, again, another, uh, interesting part. Uh, some of the background characters that we did meet again, all of them had their own, uh, personalities and such that made them memorable. Um, let's see here. Uh, animation is definitely better. Animation has definitely, you know, proved upon since the, uh, last two games. As, again, as, uh, as example by the endings and such, um, the ending animation is where this game really does shine the most and such. Like I said, I can't talk about the ending enough, but, uh, but like I said, you know, um, uh, 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 like, uh, the ending is, <laughs> like this, Lady and Dog. They, they, they actually predicted one of the uh, future Lady games coming up soon. And, and even, and even Lady is just like, huh, so Luke really can't be a dog. But anyway, uh, but anyway, like I said, the animation is real good, um, uh, the story was real good. The puzzles were good, too. The puzzles were uh, definitely more engaging as well, too. Uh, some real good ones. Uh, like I said, the uh, three-block ones, the uh, leapfrog ones, uh, the ones where you had to, you know, push a button or, like, you know, actually, you know, put pieces of a puzzle together. Those were fun. Those were a lot more memorable. Um, and the mini games were actually a lot more fun, too. Again, this is uh, this game definitely has my uh, had uh, definitely had the best minigame lineup out of the uh, series so far. 
I will say that the Pair 1 is okay in my opinion and everything, uh, but the Toy Car and the Picture Book ones were definitely fun, I definitely did enjoy those. Um, so let's see, is there anything else I can... Uh, well, actually, we're coming up to, uh, we're, get, uh, we're getting to the cutscene pretty soon, so I'll, uh, I'll keep quiet a little bit and uh, we'll watch the cutscene. I'm back, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, right. right, we're getting to the cutscene. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Oh no, my boy. This is so long, not goodbye. <laughs> now look, you know a gentleman never makes a scene in public. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm not a gentleman yet! <laughs> <laughs> There, there. <laughs> All right, so uh, actually that scene did also want me to uh, add on what I said. Uh, this game actually does a good job as well as, like, you know, establishing a little more characters for both Layton and Luke. I think what this game actually does, uh, Diabolical Box did this a little bit too, but this game actually really did feel like, you know, Layden really needed to solve this mystery, because this is actually the first time we're actually learning a little bit more about him as a character, like, you know, how he became a gentleman and everything. Some of those scenes, again, they really do grab you, they really do want you to learn more about this guy. And from what I understand, the prequel trilogy is actually, you know, actually expand both on his character and Luke's character, so so that uh, so that gives me even more excited to play the um, prequel trilogies, because I because uh, I'm dying to see like you know what else do they do to these uh, two characters and such. Uh, but this game was definitely a good uh, was definitely a good start on like you know exploring more on Layton's character and such. And uh, and like I said, you definitely do see his growth. You definitely do see on like how he became a, a gentleman, you know, thanks to Cla uh, thanks to Claire and everything and what happened to her. <coughs> Can we just you. go to the fact that the car was there with him? Uh, uh yeah. On, uh, Hopefully he could fly. Uh, uh, actually, uh, actually, yeah, you know what, that, that is actually a good point. Uh, did the uh, is the button actually still there, or did Don Paulo, you know, took it off, where it's just like, alright, Layden, well, you, uh, well, it was only a plot button, so I gotta get rid of it now. Oh, shit. Plot button, <laughs> plot button, plot, plot, but, yeah. plot button. Plot. But yeah. Uh, the mu uh, the music was really good. I really do love the mu uh, music. Probably not as much as I like the one in Diabolical Box, but some of the music in here is really still spot on. The post the puzzle battle theme, the uh, ending credits, as well as some of the uh, sad and emotional uh, themes. Again, those are just you know really good, uh, really uh, uh, really great to listen to in my opinion and such. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can think of? I can't think of too many things I can criticize on this game. I will say the twist, though, uh, the twist was a little bit better in Diabolical Box. Um, again, I can see how it could be far-fetched for some, but at least for this one, I could buy it a little bit more. Uh, because at least, you know, uh, at least not one of those was like, all oh, the people in the towns, like, you know, are, were just fake to begin with. No, it was still real. It's just, they just weren't in the future. They were just, you know, somewhere else. And I can kind of buy it a little bit and everything. Like, you know, it's not too far-fetched, at least in my humble opinion. I'm sure someone will probably, you know, probably disagree, and, and again, you know, if you do disagree and everything, let me know, like, you know, what you thought about the twist ending. I'm real curious to, you know, uh, un uh, hear, uh, hear what you guys have to say on it. So, uh, alright, well, uh, I think that should be about it, because I can't think of anything else, um, I wanted to say, so, uh, uh alright, I'll let, uh, I'll let Space Train give his final thoughts, and then we'll go ahead and I'll, uh, give my rating for this game. So go ahead, Space Train, what did you, uh, what did you thought on Professor Lane and the Unwound Future? Okay. After a while of me being in the dark, because I lost it, <laughs> with that ending. Yeah. I have to go and get a tissue, because, Jesus. Alright, so on one future, I'm gonna say that this game destroys Curious Village and Diabolical Bots in terms of the story. Mm hmm. 
it kept me on my it kept me on on the, my toes really badly. Uh, my heart was pounding throughout most of the story because I was so excited to find out what what was going to happen. The the um I was I'm going to say this, I was spoiled on a couple of things, but not not a, not so much if you get what I mean. Yeah. Um the 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 puzzles were good. They were pretty good for the most part. Um like like I said, you know, the story the story is what makes this game good, like really good. And this might be my favorite lighting game so far. We haven't gotten to prequels yet, but you know, so far this is my favorite game in the in the original trilogy and nothing will top will dethrone this game. So the characters were pretty good. I, I love Clive and and I love Claire and Dimitri. Mm -hmm. They were all pretty pretty good characters. Uh, some of the NPC characters as well were pretty good, especially Leitan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but other than that, um, was were there were some weak points during the during our let's play? No, they were not. They were enjoyable. All of them were enjoyable, and I I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest. I have more fun with in this one in Unwound Feature than I did with Diabolical Boss in Curious Village. Interesting. So, uh, so as I'm gonna give my ratings for the for the well, my tier list ratings in a couple of in a, in a, in, in a few moments, but I'm gonna let uh, Sekoa say his rating for this game. All right. So for this game alone, I'll give this like a good. You know what? I'll give it like a good. Ooh, actually, that's a really good one. Um, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'll do it for now. I'll give it a good ten out of ten for now. Um, I was thinking about giving it a nine and such, but you know, uh, but you know what? We had a lot of fun with this game and everything. And like I said, you know. Uh, having you two here with me, like I said, it makes me appreciate these uh, latent series a lot more. And I figured, like I said, this game really did, you know, uh, I felt this game was really a good way to end off the original trilogy. It was even a good way to end off, like, the whole series. Because, like I said, chronologically, like, you know, in terms of the latent timeline, this is the last game of the... This is the last game of the series, and as the last game of the series chronologically wise, um, this, uh, this was a good way to end it off and such. So, I definitely had a lot of fun with it. I definitely give it, uh, so yeah, I'm safe to give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, what, uh, what about you? Uh, me? Yeah. Alright, here's my rankings, and I'll give my final score. Okay, so I want future it goes in S tier, if I had to make a tier list. Alrighty. Uh, Curious Village goes on B tier, and right. this is probably gonna piss a lot of people off, but Diabolical Bots goes on D for me. Okay. And as for my score for out on one future, on one future is definitely a 10 out of 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10. Possibly the most entertaining, best latent game to date so far. Alrighty. Uh, what about you? If you had to give a rating, yes, ESM, what would you rate this game? Eight, to t eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Alright, that's good enough with me. Alright, so with that, uh, so, alright, if any of you two want to give your thoughts on the latent trilogies as well, too, as a whole, you can, uh, but as for me, uh, turns up the, uh, latent trilogies of the first three games, uh, these games were a good start for the, uh, Professor Layton series and such. They gave a good amount of, uh, mystery, they gave a good amount of characters, and they gave around with all, for, uh, all variety types of puzzles and such. There's a lot about these, uh, Professor Layton games where... Uh, uh, where, uh, where after playing them, uh, after playing them and watching them over and over and seeing other people, you know, either do walkthroughs, live streams, or let's plays of this game again, it's made me appreciate the series a lot more, you know, uh, as the years go on and such. And it's hard to believe that it's already been over ten years since these games were made and such. And again, it's easy to see why they have their fans. They're uh, good mystery games. They have really good and memorable characters. Some of them good role models too, like Layton himself. Uh, like I said, there are, uh, there are a variety of different puzzles for people to enjoy and everything. Uh, some of them are actually really creative. The stories are actually really creative too, especially with their uh, twist endings. And even if some of them don't work, like Diabolical Box, or maybe even like, you know, the uh, twist ending to Unwound Future, they still keep you engaged. They still keep you uh, entertained for like, you know, uh, for you uh, for you to uh, for you to actually want to see where's the, where's the story going, where's the series going to take you next. And that's a sign of a good storytelling right here. So, as for me, in terms of, like, you know, the trilogy as a whole, I say these three games were a good start to the Professor Layton series. Um, if I had to, uh, if I had to do, like, you know, a top three games in terms of, like, you know, this game, uh, in terms of, like, you know, the, uh, games we played so far, uh, number one would definitely be Unwound Future, two would be Curious Village, and three would be Diabolical Box. Th uh, those are, uh, so those are the games I would pick in the trilogy. So basically, we both agree on 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 diabolical bots that is at the bottom. Basically, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so since we finished the whole trilogy, might as well say this. Uh, uh, actually, box, uh, 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 but, uh, but wait. Actually, there's a little bit more. Uh, we actually forgot something real quick. Okay, we wonder what it is. Oh, silence. Dear Professor Layton, It's been a while since... The hell? We said goodbye. Oh. How have you been? Okay, that was weird. As for me, I'm all settled in and making new friends. I was a little scared there for a I'm second. writing to you because something deeply puzzling happened here recently. It seems like the sort of mystery that's tailor made for Professor Layton and his apprentice. I don't think anyone else could get to the bottom of it. I've enclosed a document with this letter that will tell you more about the situation. So, yeah, don't forget, we had one more puzzle. So here it is, the final one. Uh, Lucas voicing this, so if you want to voice this one, uh, ESM, go ahead. Look, I made myself a wax stamp. It's like the one you used to seal your important envelopes and documents, except it looks like my hat, and the L stands for Luke. I've already used it once, see? Isn't the blue wax neat? It matches my hat. Anyway, here's my puzzle of the four examples. A, B, C, and D. Which one is my actual stamp? Circle your answer. So which one do you think would be is the stamp that he actually used? C. Uh, what do you think, Space Train? All right, let me let me think about it. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah. I, I also go for C. All right, the final puzzle. That should do the trick. Congratulations, maybe you all aren't dumbasses after all. Just as I suspected. <laughs> That's what <Lane> is thinking. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the challenge. Yeah, the challenge is to figure out the differences between the variation hats, shapes, and realizing that the L on the stamp was. A uh, stamp will be backwards. It's neat that L works for both Layton, for Luke and Layton. Cool, huh? Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. And we solve all the puzzles in this game. Congratulations! You get nothing. Uh, but uh, actually, yeah, we could still try again. We're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna do the Layton challenges. Yeah, that that doesn't mean we're never gonna do them. But it's safe to say that, like, you know, we probably won't do them for a long while. Because as we speak, I think we're a little bit burnt out on later. I start this new adventure yeah. with you. Please write back as soon as you get this letter. Your friend and apprentice, Luke. Hmm. One of the rare times we see him without the hat. Yep. Back in the study. Back as a professor. To be continued. And yeah, like I said, this is where basically where the uh, prequel trilogies will start. Um, in terms of like chronologically, I know chronologically um, this is where supposedly where um, his adopted his other adoptive daughter apparently is going to step in. But that's not going to be for a long, long while. Uh, but yeah, and there's so an that anime, was... and, there, and apparently there's an anime that takes place a, f a few years after uh, Our One Future, but that's another story for another day. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so yep, we are all done with the Professor Layton trilogy as well as Unwound Future. So uh, go ahead, Space Train. You said you wanted to make some announcements about what's yes. going to be going. Go ahead. Um, um, uh, before I get to the announcements, which is pro which is going to be about, you know, what are we going to be up to now that we finish uh, Layton? I just wanted to say that uh, that I'm gonna be talking about a little bit about my opinions on the on the three games. I think I already gave my final thoughts on I Want Future, but you know I'm gonna say right, go uh, Diabolical Bot. I've been going back and forth between Diabolical Bots and Curious Village, and Diabolical Bots uh, um, was possibly it was it got boring at times, and you know it was also kind of frustrating at times. So that's why I put it on D tier. And Curious Village is a great start to the series. 
I will admit it dragged on in some parts, but it was still a good game nevertheless. So that's why I put it in the middle, t in almost in the middle tier. And and obviously you all know why I put uh, on one feature in S tier is because it has a good story and you know, I already gave my final thoughts. All right. So anything anything you want to say before I get to the announcements? Um, I think that's really um, about it and such. So, and this is the first. Uh, and this is the first uh, Professor Layton the video game so far, by the way. Uh, no, uh, well, actually, it's not really the first Professor Layton video game. No, uh, the, the first one was actually Curious Village. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, but anyway, no, I basically gave uh, I basically gave my thoughts on both on Wild Future and the trilogies. Like I said, the trilogies are a good start to the Layton series. Um, I am very excited once I get to uh, the prequel trilogies, which um, by the time the stream is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna start you know practicing the uh, next Layton game, the first of the. Uh, tr uh, the first of the prequels, which is uh, Last Spectre and such, so I'm going to be practicing that, and that walkthrough will be ready for uh, ne uh, for winter of next year. So that's going to be uh, really exciting. But uh, but overall, uh, but overall, we are all done with the uh, Professor Layton series. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make some announcement about what's going on on the gaming channel, the main channel, as well as you know mine and uh, Space Trains co-op channel. So uh, do you want uh, you want to start Let's with the uh, co-op channel first? Just get that out of the way. Yeah, let's start with review, bros. Okay. All right. Since we finished, since we finished, uh, Professor Layden, we're we're proud to announce that we're almost done watching season eight. Yes, at least for the uh, second time. Second time. Uh, we haven't started writing the script yet, but we're getting there. We're almost there. Yeah. Uh, yes. Almost we are there. almost there. So by the time that you know. Uh, the stream's gonna be finishing, we're gonna finish, uh, watching Season 8. We're gonna take a little break, because, like I said, that's when, uh, Space Train's gonna be a little bit busy during the holidays. Uh, but once he gets back, then we're gonna start writing a script and watch this- and watch the 8th season for the, uh, third and final time. Yes. And, uh, I think- I think- I, now it's time for the big surprise. Um, there was a big surprise that, that Tim and I- uh, Tim and I were discussing about. Mm -hmm. But once we get done with Season 8, we're gonna review another show, and we're gonna review it t today. We're gonna review another show that was a favorite of ours during our childhoods, and it's my second favorite TV show of all time. Yes, it's it's a it's a show about talking machine construction vehicles and and their leader is known as Bob the Builder. Yes, we are reviewing Bob the Builders after we get done with season eight. So uh, so uh, so uh, so yeah, once we get done with season eight and, pro and possibly uh, while we're you know recording our lines and such, or at least editing them. Uh, we'll start watching a little bit of uh, Bob the Builder and uh, see and uh, see how we do when uh, reviewing another TV show together and such. Yes, and uh, and I think that's pretty much it for review, bros. Except yeah, aside from Bob the Builder, we also got a couple Disney movies coming up real soon, and we also got Calling All Engines. With Calling All Engines, we'll have to wait a little bit until we decide what to do. Yes. So I think that's it. Now let's get into the gaming channels. Uh, alrighty. So in terms of like for my gaming channel, uh, by the time you know uh, the stream is finished and everything, uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow is when uh, is when my new Let's Play series will start going up, which is uh, uh, which is going to be uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. So by the time you know I'm streaming this, like you know I've already finished the uh, third palace and everything, or the third dungeon and such. And so far I'm having you know uh, uh, having tons of fun with the game and everything. Uh, I am actually, you know, uh, look. Uh, I am. Uh, I am actually, you know, looking forward and every. Uh, I am actually looking forward to, you know, uploading a video on the YouTube. And I hope you guys also like it as well. Um, if you guys want to give me any tips or back uh, backseat gaming on like, you know, the game? Feel free. Just don't, you know, spo uh, spoil the story or the game for me if you uh, if you could try to help that. Uh, but any. Uh, but anyway, like I said, you know. Um, uh, uh, but anyway, like I said, so yeah, uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past is the uh, new series I'm doing right now. And by the time these videos gets up onto uh, YouTube and such, um, I probably might still be doing uh, Link to the Past, or I might be doing a different game and such. Which I do have some games in mind for uh, for next year, uh, 2022 and such. And we also do have a uh, RPG summer game in mind as well. I just need to get a uh, I just need to get the emulator working. And I also need to get a, a USB controller for that said emulator. We won't say what it is just yet. We're gonna keep it a little bit as a surprise. Uh, but let's just say it's gonna be another series that, like, you know, I'm, I'm also dying to uh, getting back to soon. Uh, but that's all I'm gonna say in terms of the gaming channel. All right. So as for mine, we I just uploaded the well the first part of my of our Legend of Zelda Let's Play for the NES just came out. So if you want to check it out, check out my Disney Town channel, which I think uh, Tim will leave in the description below. 
yeah, uh, yes, uh, yes, I will. I, I'll definitely uh, uh, once, uh, like I said, once these, you know, uh, latent streams uh, start. Uh, once I start uploading these latent streams on YouTube, you know, again, I'll leave a link to uh, both, you know, uh, Disney Johns as well as Space Trains uh, channels as well as uh, e uh, ESM's channels as well too. So I'll be, I'll basically, you know, I'll basically put, you know, links to their channels so you guys go could go check them out. Yes, and also like uh, James, I think I don't know if James is still in the chat. He said he asked me. He saw my post about the the Japanese Thomas Thomas stuff. Yes, they will be returning. They will be returning. Um, I took a little bit of a break because I was so burnt down on trying to upload them. Plus, there were a lot of episodes missing from from where I was getting from the source where I was getting them. Plus, I was very frustrated that some of the specials have some um, bad edits. <laughs> If you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah. Whereas, for some reason, the songs are still in English when the special itself is in Japanese, and that really frustrated me. <laughs> so so I took a, so I took a little bit of a, of a hiatus on not uploading them, but I'm going to be returning to uploading Season 4, and as we speak, I just uploaded uh, Grand Puff and Sleeping Beauty. Nice. Yep, and I, and I also got it, all the, the rest of the 24 episodes on the way. And in December, before I I take a little bit of a of a break because I need to work on the little project, which I'm not gonna I can't reveal because it's a secret. You'll find that on the 24th. I'm gonna be uploading series five from the first of December to the 26th. Nice. So be on the lookout for that. Right. So. Uh, so I think as uh, as I call, also has something to say. What's coming up with his main uh, channel? Because, terms of, okay, so yeah, terms of I what's think going everybody, on, on my I think main everybody... channel. Uh, I am actually still working on doing uh, reviews and such. It's just been real busy between you know um, our collab series as well as let's plays as well as my own life too with work and everything. Uh, but I do have some reviews on the way coming up on my main channel and such. So I don't know when they're going to come out yet, but I am working on them as best as I can. Um, I am also planning on doing something for Layton too. I'm still thinking about it if I'm going to do it. So if I do it, cool. If not, then you know I think you know I think our little final thoughts and reviews on you know uh, these games as well will be uh, will be just enough. But uh, but if I do change my mind, you guys will definitely know, and it's going to be uh, on my main channel as well. So I'm still thinking about that one. So again, I won't say much because just a case like you know if I do decide to do it, if I don't that if I don't decide to do it, it's basically going to be you know mostly up to me. But uh, but yeah, in terms of everything, that's just basically about it. That's basically like our update about like you know uh, what's going on with uh, all of our channels and everything. So uh, you got uh, so do you want uh, are you ready to uh, wrap it up? Uh, yeah, let me think. Let me see if I have something else to say before we have, before we wrap up. Alrighty. Um, the uh, a lot of people are going to be asking about when are we going to continue the Thomas and Friends uh, retrospective uh, that we we've been doing and and, all, and I see a lot of people are, have been responding positively to them and we we very appreciated of that that was simply an idea me and Tim had and you know Carter and James liked the idea so we basically went up for it and and I am I am shocked that a lot of people actually enjoyed those streams that we've been doing yeah. So, uh, season three, a lot of people are being, uh, well, well, a lot, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be asking what are we going to do about season three. Season three will not happen until next year, unfortunately, because, you know, due to our busy schedules and everything. Yeah. But it's coming soon. But it's coming soon. So don't worry. Hopefully it will. And, uh, yeah, as James said, uh, we might also be doing Kipper sometime in the near future. So we'll see on that. But, uh, but yeah, so I, th all right. So is that really all about it? Or is there anything else we should uh, mention? Mm, do you want something? You want to mention something else? Cause I don't think I have anything else. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else uh, I have. So all right. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, uh, we can uh, wrap it up if you would like. Yep. Let's wrap it up. All right. So everyone, thank you all so much for joining us on the ride for these Professor Layton games. I know it's been a long entire ride for all three of us, uh, definitely and such. So, uh, but re uh, but rest assured, like you know, but like I said, you know. At the very least, I hope both ESM and uh, Space Train had a lot of fun with these games. I know I oh, also uh, had James. a lot of fun with these games, so I, uh, I do want to I do want to say, with the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you to both ESM and uh, Space Train for you know joining me on these latent games. I'm glad they had a lot of fun, you know, voicing the characters, trying to solve you know some of the puzzles, I and mean, we had a lot of fun, you know, cracking jokes along the way, making fun of the stories as well too. Oh wait, we're missing one more way. joke. We're missing one more joke. 
Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, do you want, uh, do you want me, uh, 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 okay, how about this? How about I wrap it up, and then we can, uh, we can still do it, uh, uh then we can still do it for the finale. Alright, got it, yeah. Alright. Uh, before we, before we wrap up, I, I'm looking at the, at the chat, and James said, said something here, let me read it up. Okay. I really do, I really do love the Thomas and Friends Japanese songs, they made me, they made me some pretty good. Well, well, James, I got something to tell you, those songs were a fucking nightmare to get. I I was so frustrated trying to look for those songs, though because the 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 class the the first couple of songs from the classic era are difficult to find, and I was pulling my hair out trying to find a good quality version of them. <laughs> but they will be still coming. Um, the good news is that from season six onwards, I'm gonna have an easier time because I already have them downloaded. So, I hope you're excited for that. Nice. That's all. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway. Uh, but uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, uh, uh, like I said, you know, thank you, Space Train and ESM for joining me on the game. I hope you uh, for joining me on these, you know, marathon and such. So I do hope you guys enjoy these professional lane marathons as um, much as I have and everything. So uh, so uh, like I said, I know uh, I know all these games have been burnouts for you. And to be fair, like there were some moments where I did suffer a little bit of a burnout as well too. Uh, where? But, thank uh, but thankfully for you two, you don't have to worry about lane for a long, long time. Me though, I still gotta worry about one more lane game before I can at least, you know, try to take a break from it. So where, where, which part do you felt you were gonna, where you were burnt out? What part exactly? Uh, nothing really much. It was just more on like, you know, uh, try, uh, just trying to, you know, uh, just trying, you know, do these streams. Like, you know, I, I did feel a little bit of a burnout during with Diabolical Box. So I was just like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, uh, let's take, you know, a nice long break, and then we'll come back and finish it up with Unwound Future. But uh, to be fair, the burnout wasn't really all that bad and such. So. It, so so it's not like I was already sick of the game or anything like that. All right. So yeah, but anyway, we'll proceed. But anyway, yeah. But anyway, yeah. So uh, so again, you know, I hope you two had a lot of fun, you know, uh, with uh, with the series, and I hope you guys also had a lot of fun with this series as well too. So I hope you guys, you know, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, new way we were able to, you know, uh, replay games as well as like you know. Uh, give uh, give our new thoughts on them. See if they uh, still held up to these uh, to this day and everything. And this was a lot of fun. Like you know, I won't lie. This was like you know a good series to uh, start off. You know, with this uh, marathon and everything. Because like I say, you don't you don't really see too many people doing you know less plays like you know commentary less plays on Professor Late, and it's easy to see why at some parts. Uh, but at the same time and everything, this was a fun little experiment to do, and uh, I'm glad I had at least, you know, uh, two of my friends come in and join me for the ride and everything. So, it, it definitely did make it a lot more interesting, it definitely made it a lot more engaging, too. So, uh, so that's all, uh, so that's always good news in my book. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. if you guys have enjoyed this uh, latent marathon and everything, uh, hit that like button. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to see more, uh, want to see some... If you guys do want to see something like this in the near future, um, let me know down in the comments and everything because I do have other games in mind where, like, you know, I want to do some type of marathon like this and such. In fact, like, you know, I already have one game in mind which we're not going to be doing for next year, but the year after that, like, you know, uh, if both Space Train and ESM want to join in, then uh, we'll do this. Um, then we'll do this marathon in uh, 2023, hopefully. Um, but uh, but like but yeah, that's gonna be a long ways away. But um, if if they do want to join in and everything, then uh, I'm all, then I'm also super excited to I'm also super excited for the next you know series that I want to do a marathon to in the near future. Yeah, but I'm excited too because uh, yeah, it's been a long time. It but has. It I'm has been a long time, but uh, but this is another one. Uh, this is another one I think we're all going to enjoy. Probably, we're uh, probably even going to enjoy a little bit a lot more too, because like you know, it's not really that much gameplay, and we could just you know sit back and you know try to you know have fun and everything without worrying too much, which uh, w uh, which will be you know definitely good and such. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I'll also say this too. Uh, I also say this too. I don't think uh, Space Train and ESM will join me on every single you know marathon series. It just depends on like you know what game series I'm going to be marathoning, and it just depends if they want to join in or not. If they do, cool. If not, then that's also uh, and that's also okay with me as well. So just a heads up on that. So, uh, 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 uh James, I uh, like I said, I'll think about it if I want to join in. I'll, uh, I'll think about it, man. Um, but anyway, yeah, so yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this uh, series, hit that like button. If you guys want to see, you know, uh, more uh, more marathons like this, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, speaking of games, uh, don't forget, if you guys got any games you want me to try out, let's make a comment on the YouTube or on my Facebook page. Uh, if you guys like movie and TV show reviews, check out my main channel where I mostly do that. Or, you, uh, or as uh, Space Train and I have already said, you can also check out our co-op series, Review Bros, where we're also reviewing movie and TV shows together. 
Like I said, by the time we're streaming this, we're working on Season 8, so hopefully that'll be coming out sometime soon next year. So, we'll try our best, but, you know, we'll keep you guys updated if something comes up. Uh, and, and also, speaking of that, don't forget to check out both Space Train's uh, main and gaming channel, and check out ESM's gaming channel as well, too, where he also does games and tries to do more live streams as well. But, uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, again, thank you all, uh, thank you all so much for joining the series, and, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the, uh, late, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past series, and, uh, like I said, uh, by the time these, uh, videos get uploaded, I'll see you all on the, uh, um, I'll see you all in my next Let's Play, which, again, I might still be playing Legend of Zelda, or I might be playing a different game, but, until then, take care, everybody. Bye, guys.